Um, hi, Kevin. How are you? Thank you so much hi, for supporting hi. us on this project. Um, it's really exciting. So for our enhanced performance range, um, we've worked with your new pocketing using Cyclo and organic cotton. So uh, can you tell us a little bit about the product? Well, I mean, the, the, the products essentially with uh, Colpen, we've, we've evolved through the world of sustainability from we were the first guys to... Um, push on for recycled polyester. Um, we were one of the first to start blending recycled polyester with BCI and organic cottons. Um, and really, the 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 Cyclo article is what we consider in 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 our the nature of our product is the final solution to sustainability. There is no further recycle. You know, the the, the products will uh, degrade. Over, to, over a very short period of time. Um, and that essentially for us as a, a, a pocketing supplier into certainly the denim world, we're, pocketing is the only other fabric involved. Um, so it's an important factor for Colpen to be actually presenting a final solution in line with the way this market is going. So it's, um, it's still in its infancy for us, but it's certainly something that we're really proud to be working with projects like this um, and feeding out into the, the, the mass market. No, it's great. As I completely agree. I mean, it is a product in its infancy and we've got a long way to go, um, but all the indications show it's really going to help um, the world of polyester. Um, on our Friendly Fibres range, we used a product from you guys called um, Hemp Cell, which is a blend of Tencel and hemp. Obviously not the cheapest solution, but a perfect um, a sustainable solution. Do you see the demand for hemp and Tencel like, growing in the future in this area? I, to, to liken it to the denim world, I see, um, oh, we see the, the hemp and tensile being more of a niche uh, product. I want to say to align it to the denim world in, in the way of, of Selvedge. Selvedge yeah. is a fantastic product, um, very natural, uh, traditional, but a lot of brands, a lot of retailers, um, they have it some seasons, they don't have it others. And it's it's expected that the, the price of a, of a selvedge, because of the nature of it, is not going to be the mass market price. And that we see also as, as something like hemp and tensil. Um, the, the, there will be a price point for that. Um, and we see it more being the, the premium, the premium end. Um, yeah. So, we, you know, we, in, in terms of numbers that we would roll out, if you compare it to something like the the C uh, pocketing that we were, were presenting now, um, you're probably speaking a ten percent to a ninety percent rollout. Um, and again, honestly, where we are as, as a pocketing company, we we know where we are on the ladder. We are, let's say, followers in terms of a market, but leaders uh, in terms of being proactive to make sure in our product area we have that available. For, for brands or, or retailers that are going in that direction. Yeah, no, we definitely see you as the leader in the market. Definitely from the research we were doing, it's definitely one of the first companies to be offering that kind of product. So we've been trying to, you know, source those kind of products and find people who are doing them. So it's great that you address that. So I mean, we, we've, we've actually been, um, on the, as Colpen on the sustainability side, um, we, we have, a, we've, We've been pushing this now probably ahead of our time, actually, where, you know, people were, we was offering sustainability as cost neutral at the start and people were saying, but where's the saving? Now, if you offer a sustainability at cost neutral, then uh, it's a very attractive option. But actually today it's not a reality. Um, but, you know, in terms of our, we, we established our own core uh, brand of which we have, BCI under that, we have organic under that, we have hemp under that, we have now the uh, Cyclo article, and we also have aqua-free pocketing, which again is something that um, would surprise us not a bigger take-up of that type of product, bear in mind all the reduction of water that uh, the denim companies are, um, are promoting. Um, and as, as I alluded to before, as followers of, of the trends, you know, we developed our own aqua-free um, collection as well. So we're kind of 
getting a stable of product that will tick all the sustainable boxes. Uh, so if somebody what comes to Copen and you know wishes to have organic BCI uh, recycled, um, the the Ciclo or Aquafree, then we can say okay, we have these things. It's great, and the best thing about it as well with the enhanced performance, we were focusing on like you know higher volume, but sculpting and shaping and garments that are still very very dominant in the market, and the performance is there as well. So if we did the Tommy Tuck technology and things like that, which I've done with you before, you know you offer yeah. some stretch in your fabrics as well. So it's great to have the performance of the fabric as well as the sustainable options. So I know there's a lot of choices with you, which was why you were such a good partner for this, this project. I think okay. also with the with the um, the the Ciclo product, which again because of the, a lot of these things are still in the infancy, and what a lot of people also um, don't haven't recognised is it's not just about a polyester um, degrading. The it's actually the fact that they're using recycled polyester, so that the, you know they're adding, taking one solution of the plastic out of the ocean or landfill to recycle it. Um, and then add the additive to make it degradable. So that's why we say it's cleaning up, and it's it, you know that's the end result. Yeah, that's what's made. It, we're, we're really excited about the, the starting the push on these type of things because um, you know we okay we we spoke briefly uh, previously about cost, and there's uh, there's always going to be a cost to cleaning something, um, but you know it's not a cost that is like hemp, which is clear what hemp is, um, is a cost that, you know, will fit the market and the demand. That's it, absolutely. This is why um, Ciclo made sense to me, because it is an additive and it is a fairly, I would say minimal, it's a minimal cost to the product. It's a simple yeah. solution. It's not complex. Um, it's easily produced and it's, you know, but as I say, we still have a bit of, a, you know, time to go to make sure this is really um, delivering, but the charts and the testing and everything that we've seen really indicates that it does do, the job and uh, as there's nothing else I found out there at the moment it's definitely the right step forward I think the whole industry is just going through this journey and this change and um, there are some great solutions like hemp and things like that which are a little bit more expensive until it is rolled out on a much bigger scale so any little baby steps we can take in the right direction really helps so thank you Kevin <laughs> pleasure pleasure